AT Tapius here and I am in a cemetery. I know it sounds morbid and you're probably thinking, what in the world are you doing there? I know of no better place than a place like this to reflect on what we want our lives to look like. The sad but motivating thing is that we will all end up here. We will all end up in this cemetery. I can't stop and, and, and just, I keep thinking of how many people are in the cemetery and how many books, inventions, songs were never written. People that wished and wished and wished and wished. And the interesting thing is that we, we all suffer from that same wishing syndrome, right? Nothing wrong with wishing, but wishing and accomplishing are two very, very, very different things. Um, we bring a baby into this world and we're happy about it. This is exciting, I brought two beautiful babies. I remember that day, my wife and I were super excited, uh, my friends, family, but I couldn't, I couldn't stop thinking of how that baby was gonna go through their, his or her entire cycle of living and um, you know, eventually pass, right? I kept thinking, what a responsibility I have to instill in my kids, not just wishing, but also planning, right? Also the ability to, to go through life not just wishing. We live in a society that's goal-oriented. The problem is we're not habit-oriented. And I've recently been hyper-focused exactly on that, is on being more intentional about, yes, having a habit, yes, having a why, but also having habits that will support that goal. And that's how we achieve greatness, guys. And so an example of that, if you wanna get fitter, right? If you wanna get fit, hire a coach, kick all the bad food out of your house, bring good food in. Put it around you, right? Food prep, put it in your fridge. Have someone to hold you accountable, right? Be part of a program that gives you a beginning and an end date. All these things are so important in order for us to achieve. Now, if it's not in the fitness realm, I mean, you could do similar things in any other realm. You wanna be a better parent? Then write down what that looks like, right? Call a buddy, call a girlfriend and say, hey, I want you to keep me accountable to this. I wanna be able to, to, to pick up my kids from school and take them to the park and take them for walks and have conversations with them. And, and build memories and, 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 and surround yourself in an environment that's gonna support your goals so that the day that we end up here, we won't have any regrets. And I know it sounds like a kind of morbid and sad, a sad message, but it's actually an inspiring one. I don't know of a better motivation than reminding myself every single day that I'm not here forever and that I need to make the most of my time. And so if you're looking to achieve a big goal in your life, the one thing you always wanna remember is that you, you're not here forever. So make the most of your time here. Be intentional about your time. Have a goal, have a why, and create habits that are gonna support you in achieving those goals. And I promise you by the time you get here, your life is going to be incredibly impactful to so many people. You're gonna leave a legacy behind have any regrets. This is JT Tapius. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments below and I'll talk to you soon.